This is a Microsoft Excel 2010 video uh, of creating a shared construction punch list. This is uh, part three in the series, uh, applying traditional formatting. This is the uh, spreadsheet from the previous video. It has uh, a few items on a punch list. We're going to look at uh, formatting individual lines in a way that it'll highlight uh, which items are complete or, or approved or not. The way we start this is by selecting the whole area that we want to apply the format to. And so that'll be all the way from the top of this down to the bottom. We just happen to have a uh, hundred rows in here just to get things ready for a long list. And that's our selected area. And we're going to go to the top here, we're going to, uh, under the home uh, tab, I'm going to pick uh, conditional formatting and manage rules. And then, so this is the uh, screen you come up with, and it shows that we're formatting rules for the current selection, which is uh, most of the spreadsheet. We're going to make a, a rule here that when um, most of these fields are uh, completed, we'll be able to indicate that this list is, uh, that that line item is complete. So we'll go to a new rule, and we're going to choose to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And here we're going to look at um, cells not being blank, that is something's been filled in. In them. So we're going to start out here with um, equal sign. Um, because of meaning that we're using a formula, and then we're going to use an AND. So this looks for a number of conditions to be true, and they all have to be true for this uh, formula to work. And what we're going to do here is pick certain cells, like item description, and uh, it shows C14. Now, one of the things about these formulas is, is that that uh, dollar sign in front of the numbers indicates that it's an absolute value. It refers to just that cell. But as we work down the list, we want to change the row number, which is the 14. So we're going to back over this and type in a 14 instead of the dollar sign in a 14, which means that it'll change for every row. And the condition here is a not equal. And we're just going to put in a uh, two uh, quotation marks, which means the equivalent of a blank. I'm going to put a comma so we can do the next condition. And um, here, instead of actually selecting the cells and having to back up, I'm going to uh, type in the cells. So that'll be, uh, we're going to go to, let's see here, the condition of this uh, punch list item having been approved, which is column K. So I'm going to put uh, the dollar sign. And K, 14 in that same row, and again, it's not equal blank. Then we're going to also do the uh, initials, because we want those to be in there for that approved that had to be on the punch list. So again, the dollar sign, here we're on column L, and 14, and again, not equal blank. We're going to do that with uh, out here at the uh, completed item. We want the date there, which is column Q. And so, uh, sign Q 14, not equals blank. And finally, uh, dollar sign R 14, not equals blank. And we're going to close the parentheses on this formula. So we have and uh, C14 not equals blank, K14, L14, Q, and R. And now we're going to set what the format will be for that. And uh, here showing we're going to do the fill. We're going to go to the next to darkest on the fill. And then we're going to go to Font, Strike Through. And that looks pretty good. OK. 
didn't get any error messages. And so now we have this formula that if those cells are all not blank, we're going to format that row that way. And this is going to apply to that whole selected section, which is from B14 all the way up here, right down to the R113, which is the very bottom of the selection. We're going to hit OK. Now you can see that we have lined out and darkened both of these lines that had everything complete in them. Okay, so now we're going to set one other condition, and that is when uh, the item's been added to the punch list and approved, we're going to make that cell actually turn white, which will make it show it as an active item on the list. So we'll go back to Manage Rules, and we're going to do a new rule. And this one is again going to use a formula. And here we're going to go equals and, and in this case, uh, we're going to be similar cells. We'll start with uh, C14. Here again, a dollar sign. C14 not equals blank. And then uh, we're again going to use. Uh, it's approved on the punch list, so that'll be K. Dollar sign K14. Not equals blank. And then dollar sign L14. Not equals blank. And then close the parentheses. And now for our format on this one. We're going to choose for the fill the color white. And no errors in the formula. So now uh, what we want to do is, as we look through this list, these rules get evaluated working down. We actually want to do the one with the line through first, because otherwise we'll end up applying this rule would be true, we make it white, and then we hit the next rule, it would be gray. So we're going to take this rule, select it, and move it up to the top. And then we're going to say that if that rule is good, we're going to stop, and we won't go any farther on the list. Okay, so we'll put so OK on this. And now you can see what this has done is it's turned all the rest of these lighter. And just as a little test there, if we take, and, so we take out these initials, you can see that it's turned back to a gray color. So now we're going to do uh, one other rule uh, in terms of uh, catching all the conditions for that um, and that is the, the gray color. So again I'm going to highlight this whole selection, select it, and add one more part to that rule. And this will be a part to pick up the uh, cases where uh, we don't have the, uh, the rule set. So we'll go into rule, formula again. This time, instead of and, we're going to use or. And here, we're going to go with uh, any of those cells that, that have to be um, uh, the right uh, set right. To, to either line through or darken or, or turn white one of the rows. Any of those will turn this uh, to a light gray. So we're going to go with, uh, again, and here we're going to go that it is equal to blank. And then we'll work through to K and L. Sign. Fifteen and find a dollar sign R. So C14, K14, L14, Q, or R14. Any of those are blank, then we're going to color the cell, especially white. And so here we're going to go to the cell right here. And that'll be our fill for that cell. And here again, 
this will be the last rule, so we're going to take this and move it to the bottom. And we're going to stop on this one that uh, turns it white if it's true. And we're going to hit OK. And that should be our rule. So to test this out, um, move down into an area here, put in. Um, So we're just going to put in the fields we need. You see, as soon as we put that in, it turned white. Go over here. And as soon as we do that one. So as soon as the item is completed, we have a date, initials for the approval. Then uh, that will line it out, darken it. So this is what our list will look like. We'll have the white items, uh, things that need to be completed, but have been approved to be on the list. We'll have items that are kind of gray, where they haven't been approved to be on the list. Okay, so light gray, stuff typed in, but it hasn't been approved to be on the list yet. So as soon as that one gets approved to be on the list, well, assuming it hasn't been completed, uh, it turns white. And then when it's completed, so basically uh, that's how we do um, conditional formatting and make this list a lot easier to understand. We'll do some other things to improve the operation of the list in the next video. For further information and for a free download for the uh, template for the spreadsheet, go to Dr. Infrastructure dot com